Why, hello, Clan Capital Level 4. Looks like we got some smashing to do. Welcome back to the Clash Tips YouTube channel with the leveling up of our Clan Capital to Clan Capital Level 4. We were able to get access to Rocket Loons. I tried using Rocket Loons on some of these bases, and man, they're just puny. I did do a strategy a while ago called the Snarch Loo, where I use Sneaky Archers to pick off air bombs and air defenses, and then I came in on the backside with Rocket Loons, but that didn't work out too well. So I went back to my tried and true Swiss G strategy, and I actually was able to take down Balloon Lagoon in one hit. Yes, yes, I know, one hit, but there is a key to being able to get this district down in one hit. If you look right down here in the corner, you can see that I have one Super Giant, one Super Wiz, and a random Barbarian Ram that I have no clue why he's there, but anyway, I went ahead and saved them back. The reason being is because those Super Wiz like to run out ahead of those Super Giants. And when they do that, they get completely smashed. I mean, completely and utterly smashed. I mean, they, there's nothing left. And the only thing that I have left in my attack is Super Giants, and I typically can't finish it off. So if you're gonna use Swiss G at Clan Capital Level 3, and now Clan Capital Level 4, make sure that you hold at least one super giant back that way you can put that super giant down as a tank for your super whiz because if you don't they're just going to run out ahead they're going to die it's not going to be pretty it's going to be really nasty i know i know the temptation is just to throw your super giants down throw your super whiz in behind it because the swiz g attack strategy is so op but use this method in order to save your Super Wiz. If you save your Super Wiz, then your attacks can definitely be OP. Here's an attack on Wizard Valley, and I just completely and utterly ignored my own advice. So don't do as I do. <laughs> don't, don't throw all of your Super Giants down, Tip Dog. And throw all of your Super Wiz down behind it because what's going to happen is your Super Wiz is going to run out in front of your Super Giants, you moron. Now, thankfully, I was able to get that heal spell down so that way those Super Wiz could heal back up. There was no big defenses that were targeting them. There were no cannons. There were no, I about said scatter shots, but they don't have scatter shots in the clan capital. There were no blast bows or anything like that. And they were able to handle it pretty well. But for example, after the Super Wiz take down the spear thrower and this cannon, they go around and then they walk right down to the cannon, which is on that island. And if I had had one single super giant that I had saved, I could have saved those super wizards from total and utter destruction. Now, the one time that that's not necessarily true, where your super wizards are not gonna run out in front of your super giants, are when regular buildings are interspersed with the defenses. Take this map, for example, we've done a great job funneling and I put down my super giants, and then I throw down my super wizards, but as you can see, there are regular buildings, there's the district hall, there's other stuff that's there other than just defenses. So the super wiz aren't gonna run out ahead and target the next defense and essentially just get shot down because they're gonna stop and start to focus on those other buildings that are non-defense related while those super giants walk out ahead of those super wiz. Another thing that can be really dangerous about Wizard Valley are those cannon carts. So make sure that whenever you're putting your Super Giants and your Super Wiz down, you're taking those into account because those cannon carts can completely obliterate your Super Wiz. They actually shoot them down really quickly. So make sure that you have a plan. Make sure that those cannon carts are going to target your Super Giants while the Super Wiz come in behind and completely destroy them. As you can see, my Super Giants stuck out ahead of my Super Wiz. The reason was because those regular buildings, again, were interspersed amongst those defenses. So if you're base building for Wizard Valley, then make sure that your defenses and your regular buildings are separated. That way, those Super Wiz will walk out ahead of those Super Giants and they'll all get killed. Now, that was Wizard Valley, and this right here is Barbarian Camp, which is the second district on our level four clan capital. And the base builder didn't do a great job. 
So he was thinking that if he clustered all of his defenses in super tight, then it would completely obliterate and destroy any army who was coming in. But what they didn't realize was that I was going to bring in the OP Swiss G attack strategy. And as you can see here, it's, it's like a lightning show. And I did get a little lucky in that I had two Super Whiz left. They could have been completely obliterated, which is what the base builder wanted. But thankfully, they withstood and they were strong enough and they were powerful enough to withstand this bomb tower to where I had one OP Super Wizard left. That OP Super Wizard's name is Rambo. Now, Rambo isn't your everyday Super Wizard. Rambo has been out on the field since 4 a.m. training. He ran 30 miles yesterday. He did 300 push-ups, 300 sit-ups, and 500 pull-ups in order to get this OP attack. Unfortunately, Rambo died on the battlefield, but his army brethren will always remember him for the amazing attack that he did on the barbarian camp. Sniff. Sniff. Now, with this attack, we have a straight line straight up through the defenses, so we're just going to drop all of our super giants, and we're going to drop our super whiz in behind, drop our heel, and then those super whiz are going to reach over the wall. You know what's super sad about this base build? is this guy didn't put any gates inside this little area. So all of those poor giants are just getting electrocuted to death. I mean, look at them. That little guy's name is Frank. And as my super giants wallow up around and take care of those defenses that aren't shooting back at them, these guys are sitting there sad and lonely, wondering why they're being electrocuted to death. Unfortunately, Bob there is about to die and George is the only one left. Poor George, he's so sad. No friends, no one around him, and all of his village is being destroyed right before his eyes. Now, Barbarian Camp was able to be taken down to two hits. Now we have the Clan Capital, and the Clan Capital has been really tough to take in, down in just two hits. I've done it a few times, but it is very rare. So uh, just as I said in all my other videos, start out the Clan Capital attack with all sneaky archers, you want to clean up as much of the trash buildings on the side as possible. A good base builder is going to know this and they're going to put some giant bombs, some bombs out on the corners to try to prevent you from doing this. But just slowly work your way around with all of your sneaky archers trying to pick off all of those houses because you want to bring in the Swiss G right up into the core and you want those Super Wiz to stay focused on their target. You don't want them to stray outside of their target, which is going to be the clan capital and all of the defenses that are around it. Now on this hit, I realized I just pressed attack and I forgot to change my army and I had all sneaky archers again. So I said, eh, what the heck? All right. What was it likely to get it down in two hits anyway? So I said, let's just do the best that we can to try to get all of the rest of these buildings cleaned up so that the last thing that we have to do on our last hit is going to be Swiss G on the clan capital. And with all of those defenses touching the clan capital, that just like the other attack that we did, the super whiz are going to be able to take everything down. I don't know that we would have been able to do this in two hits anyway. So essentially we're cleaning up what we would have had to clean up anyway on our third hit. So it's not a complete and total loss, but I just do the same thing. I send in that OP Barbarian Ram because I want to make sure that that second level of wall is opened up. I would have done that anyway with the Swiss G attack, but I just clean up. Again, putting Sneaky Archers down around, and then my plan is for the next attack to send in the Swiss G, and my Giants are going to tank for my, my Super Wiz, and my Super Wiz chains are just going to completely obliterate and destroy everything. The one thing that I find super interesting about this is that evidently the Super Wiz chains don't have a limit. Either that or different Super Wizards are chaining through different defenses maybe. Another little tip, I love doing the double heal. If you do the double heal, then oftentimes you can keep your Giants alive. And the longer that your Giants stay alive, then the longer the Super Wiz last and this is it that was a hit so this is how to attack at clan capital level four hopefully it was helpful if so give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you guys next video